it's 420. Yep, I'm a libertarian making a marijuana legalization video on 420. Can I get any more stereotypical? Probably not. So for all those not in the know, 420 is like a national pothead day. They all come together and they toke up and they pass it around and they philosophize about mind-blowing things. I have no idea. Disclaimer, I don't do the pot. I have no interest in doing the pot. It is not my thing. I've already done a video on marijuana legalization. I don't want to repeat all the same arguments again. I want to address something different. Every time I post something about marijuana legalization on my Facebook page, I get a ton of comments saying, really, aren't there more important issues to talk about, Julie? I get where they're coming from, but personally, I believe there's tons of important issues that we can talk about. So this video is aimed at people that don't smoke pot. Why should you care about marijuana legalization? What's it to you? Number one, it's a winning issue. Many issues are long uphill battles. Not so with marijuana legalization. It's actually winnable. Polls show growing support for marijuana legalization. Lots of well-known respected conservatives such as Gleb Beck, Sarah Palin, Rick Perry, Pat Robertson have said positive things about marijuana reform. Of course, marijuana is now legal in Colorado and Washington. Maryland just decriminalized marijuana. Medical marijuana is legal in 20 states plus DC. For me, it doesn't make sense just to drop the issue. The race is already halfway done. I want to ride that baby across the finish line, if you know what I'm saying. Number two, are you interested in cutting government spending? If so, you should look into marijuana legalization. It's expensive to enforce marijuana laws. A Harvard study estimates that legalizing marijuana would save $7.7 .7 billion every year. Eight states spend more than $1 billion enforcing marijuana laws every single year. New York spends $3 billion. Texas and California spend $2 billion. The Drug Enforcement Administration, the DEA, now costs taxpayers $3 billion a year. Their budget has grown 40 fold since 1973 when it was started. That all adds to the outrageous national debt. Number three, it's your tax dollars being spent. You want to cut taxes? Legalize marijuana. Your tax dollars are being spent to clothe and feed peaceful drug users in jail. More than two million Americans are in jail. That's one out of every 100 adults. The U.S. has the highest prison population in the entire world, but fewer than half are in there because of violent crimes. The majority are in there because of drug offenses. Many people get locked up and they won't let them out for long periods of time for relatively minor things because of mandatory minimum sentencing laws and it takes a lot of your taxpayer dollars to lock them up. 4. Get rid of government waste. In the United States, there's about 750,000 marijuana arrests every single year. That's about half of all drug arrests and almost 90% of those arrests are for simple possession. Many people talk about cutting waste, fraud, and abuse from government. Okay, waste. Do you believe government officials have better things to do with their resources than to arrest marijuana users? Number five, outreach. As I've said before, there's growing support for marijuana legalization. Most young people support it. I've often heard liberty-minded people ask, how can we get more young people involved? Weed. <laughs> Yeah, marijuana legalization is one of the many ways to get more young people involved and active. Do not let the left own this issue because it's a winnable issue and it's consistent with our beliefs. It's consistent with limiting government, freedom, personal responsibility, reducing spending, all of that stuff. And it's helpful to reach new people that we desperately need. So there you have it. Even if you are not participating in the 420 reefer festivities, legalizing marijuana is still important.